Hey, this is Mark, and I am streaming from Florida. Hopefully this is working correctly. Uh, got an S6 here that came in liquid damaged, and uh, it's here for data, of course. Uh, so what I've already done is um, just inspected, really. Um, it looks like it's already been cleaned, but I can still see some pretty clear signs of, of where there was liquid. Um, and I've attached a wire so that I can power from the DC power supply. So I'm going to do that now and see what I get. So I've got 60 milliamps before prompt to boot. And after I prompt, it jumps up a little over one amp. And definitely getting some heat right here. So it's definitely in this area right here. So I will probe around. Um, I can see pretty clearly that water definitely got under this guy, which is uh, camera related, um, but it's this guy that's getting hot. So let's see what I get. All right, full short on that coil. That looks good. And these two, I think, are naturally low resistance to ground. And these, this line is low, and I don't think it should be. So, um, this coil, both sides of it just go directly to this chip and nothing else. Um, and there's some ground near those balls, so let me go ahead and pull that and see what it looks like under there. I'm going to try to watch the chat, but I don't have the thing set up like Jessa does where it's easy. I can stream to the iPad Rehab channel, but I can't log in as the content creator. Oh, and I'll go ahead and toss a quarter on that old CPU there. That guy was stuck to my quarter. All right. So that doesn't look too bad. I don't really see a bunch of corrosion. There's a little bit of crap right there, but really not, not bad. Oh yeah, and of course, now that that chip's off, these lines go nowhere, so open line when I test them. All right, um, now I know it looked like water definitely got under this guy. Um, and these two, I, I don't believe, are required for boot. So I'll go ahead and pull those <clears throat> and then place a new, uh, you know, uh, it's like a, a boost driver. Um, the first one I pulled off, it's kind of like... Uh, Samsung S6's chestnut creates voltages that are required for image and touch.
All right, that one looks perfectly fine. So did the other one, really. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back. I don't believe this one is required for image and boot, but I can't actually remember. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back. So I can't tell if there's just no chat happening right now or if it's just not showing up for me. I'm trying to like watch as a viewer on the channel and follow the chat, but I'm not seeing anything. So I did not take note of where the uh, orientation mark was, but I have CXW open. And it looks like looks like the orientation mark was right there in that corner. Right now, let's see if those lines are still low. Nope. And no. All right, so hopefully this will boot up with image now. And now I'm not getting any pull from DC power supply before prompt to boot. Prompting. And we have image. All right. So uh, that's pretty much done now. I just got to pop this board into a known good housing and create a backup. So this is probably where I would answer any questions, if I could see them. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything in chat. So hopefully there aren't a bunch of people talking that I can't see, but I know there probably are. Um, so yeah, I, I thought this would be pretty short. Um, it's, you know... I wouldn't say this phone is good to go back into daily use, um, but I can definitely get the data off of it. And I was planning on doing maybe a few long screw damage jobs and talking to the chat for a little while, but looks like that is yet another bug that needs to be worked out on my end. Um, oh, look, there's chat. Techno Lucas says, are schematics available on ZXW? <clears throat> Um, no, schematics are not available, um, at least not, you know, like the um, 
actual iPhone schematics. You can get the, the board views on ZXW, which help, <clears throat> you know, see what's online. You know, the same thing that it does for the iPhones. Um, but I don't believe like Blackfish has PDF schematics like they do for iPhones. Um, so yeah, I guess, I guess I'm done here. I will, uh, I'll probably stream some long screw repairs later on my channel. Uh, after I get done with a few more chip off data jobs. So thanks for watching and, uh, see you next time I'm in New York.